Hey, Adam White here from SEO Jet. Hey, I wanted to show you this really cool case study of using some of the cool features in SEO Jet to hack page one of Google. Now, I'm just gonna, I'm looking here at my SEO proposal template page. This is one of my power pages that I created. And you can see here, it shows, here's, my, here's all the key phrases that I'm trying to target, and here's where I rank for each of those key phrases. You can see that every single one of these is on, ranking on page one of Google. Now, what's cool about this is literally 30 days ago, None of these were on page one of Google, not one. And, and for months, and I'll show you, here's a graph of, this is since last October, and believe me, it goes on longer than this, that I was just stuck on page two on these. And no matter what I did from a link building standpoint, it didn't matter, I could not get onto page one. I mean, here's an, that's, that's my main key phrase, SEO proposal. SEO proposal template, another one. You can see the graph here. You just look, you see, I'm stuck between 14 and 16 even going down up to 13 and down to 16 and then boom it jumped to six and that's that's across the board all these key phrases just jumped up from where they were so how did i do it well, as you know the typical user flow of seo jet is you you add power pages into seo jet pages that you're going to build links to and then as you build links to them you you come in here and you look at your link map you look at your gauges and you come down and you build out the links that's that's this very simple process works really well now the, the software defaults to the number one overall average in other words it looks at everyone number one rank site and takes an average of all of their gauges and it gives you the number one overall and that's what we default to but you can also come in here and choose the top 10 if you feel like it's different enough that it's gonna make a difference for you you can do that as well so having said that here's what I did so here's some snapshots of SEO Jet back before I started this cool strategy. And you can see here my key phrases that I'm trying to rank for and where I'm ranking at, right? It was no good. And I, was, and I literally was like getting so frustrated because I had 32 links built to that page, which was more than anybody else on page one, or at least more than nine out of 10. And I still wasn't on page one and I couldn't figure out why. Here's the, this was the top 10 of Google for the phrase SEO proposal. And again, you can see other than this guy here, with 61 links, everyone else only had between, I mean, 10 or 11 or less. I mean, very, very few. Now they had great homepage brand trust, which is why they were able to do this. But I figured if I got enough links, I would be able to crack page one and it wasn't happening. And so when I started to do a deep dive into what, what was happening on page one, I looked down at the, at the top 10 average um, on, their, on their gauges for blended exact match and natural anchors and noticed that for, for some reason, for this one key phrase, SEO proposal, it was way different than the overall number one average, right? So you can see how off these are from each other. And so what I noticed is that with my own, with my own SEO, where I was really low was on the exact match anchors. Now, it's, it's kind of funny because I've preached in the past that, you know, you want to do as few exact match anchors as possible. But the reality is you want to do what the data tells you. And the data for this key phrase was telling me, get more exact match anchors. And so I went ahead and clicked using use top 10 to switch my gauges to, do, to this because when I was following the number one overall average, I just wasn't getting the results I wanted. So I switched it to, the, to using the top 10. And this is what my gauges, you can see how far off my gauges became. And I was low here on exact match anchors. And so right here, you can see on the bottom of my link map, the key phrases that I've built since then, right? And I got one, two, three, four keyword anchors, three different key phrases, but I did key phrase anchors. And literally, as soon as I, as soon as those hit, that's when all of a sudden my rankings just jumped up to page one. And because you can see now my, how I'm, how I stack up against the top 10 of page one, I'm right in the blue ranges again. And now I'm on page one. And so this is the, the neat thing about this feature in SEO jet, be able to use the top 10 and really dial in your strategy when you get stuck on page two or you're just not moving fast enough or or you think you know i like i like going after number one overall average in terms of the gauges but sometimes that's not going to work because just for some reason certain key phrases have a different a much different average and so you can switch your strategy and make headway and, and, and end up on page one which is exactly where you want to be again i was stuck and now here i am uh, right in the middle of page one, just from two or three links that were exact match anchors. Who would have thought? Apparently they, they still can work. And you know, it's only because we're just looking at the actual data and not, not guessing. And that's the whole point of SEO Jet is to stop doing guess SEO.
Hope that helps. Now get out there and start building links the smart way.